They want to know the difference between basic autopilot and full self-driving with its autopilot features. You guys want to go show them? Yeah, you do. Okay. So here we are. Come on, jump up there. All right. We'll go show them. Hank and Luna want to show you guys the difference between basic autopilot that comes with every Tesla and the full self-driving autopilot with the enhanced features. That's either the enhanced feature autopilot or the full self-driving. I'll try to show you the difference today. We're going to go out on the highway. We're going to find some victims, which means we can practice on them using our full self-driving and basic autopilot. So let's hit the road. Basic autopilot, enhanced autopilot, and full self-driving all drive on two-lane roads, just like this. We are currently on Interstate 74. I've set the cruise control for the speed limit, and it is driving in the right-hand lane. Basic, enhanced, and full self-driving as it is today will do this without issue. It's very windy. You can't see that on the camera, but the autopilot is maintaining the center of the lane as we drive down the highway. This autopilot will stay centered in the lane and keep its driving distance between the vehicle in front. So I'll show you here now. This, uh, by moving this control to the right or the left, will adjust the following distance. There's following distance of one, there's two, there's three, and it goes all the way up to seven. Okay? I'm going to set it up for two here. Now, in order to test this, I'm going to have to speed up. So, I apologize, but I've got to catch that vehicle in front to demonstrate the following distance. So as we get a little closer and closer to that vehicle in front, you're going to notice that the autopilot will continue to stay in the lane. The autopilot wants to know that you've not passed out and so therefore rotational this way or that way ever so slightly will keep it going. So as we get a little close, let's see if this guy in front, now the people getting on are far enough ahead, so we're going to get within two of this little silver car up here. Now you notice what's happened here. You notice that the speed has changed, isn't it? So this is the set speed, and that is our actual speed. And that is the speed of the guy there in front. So that's how that works. So our set speed, the speed limit, and I'm gonna need to rotate the wheel, let it know I'm happy. So we have the speed limit, we have the blue ball which indicates we're in autopilot. I have the set speed which I set here on this wheel by rolling it up or down. And we have our actual speed following the silver car here in front of us. As he speeds up or slows down, we will keep the two distance as you saw here. We're going to keep two following distance with that car in front. Now this autopilot is in basic, is in enhanced, and is in full self-driving as the software is deployed today. This is what comes stock and standard on every Tesla if you don't upgrade the software to enhanced or full self-driving. This is called Traffic Aware Cruise Control because it's aware of the traffic in front. Now, on the basic is where it diverges. Basic will stay in this lane until it runs out of energy or that guy moves or something happens. So what we're gonna do now is this car in front, I can see there's a truck up in front of that guy. He's gonna wanna pass these cars around this truck and we're gonna stay right in this lane because that's what we told autopilot. Make it happy. So we're gonna stay right here and we're gonna get in behind this truck now 
uh, because I would bet this Subaru goes around it. And there may be another car, it looks like, maybe in front. I can't tell. So now the Subaru is creeping along at 64 in a 70 because he's either wanting to get off here, this exit, or he wants to just nestle in behind this truck. Either way. Let's see what he does. Yep, he's getting off. And there is a car up ahead. So now you're going to see, we're going to speed up, and I'm not touching the accelerator. We're going to speed up here now to match the speed of this little gold car here in front. Remember, our set speed 75, and now once we get within two car lanes here, you're noticing that we are going to now stay within two car lanes of that little car in front. And he's creeping along apparently about the same speed as that truck, and that's fine. But the cruise control or autopilot in our case will keep this centered and our two car following distance here until uh, we run out of energy or they move or get off the interstate, which then we'll get back to 75. This is the way the basic, the enhanced, and the full self-driving works. So we're waiting until this truck passes us with this trailer here. As you can see, the truck up ahead is kind of dictating our speed. He goes faster or slower, and the car behind him speeds up, and we keep our distance and speed. So now, in here is where the basic and the enhanced and the full self-driving differ. When I want to change lanes in the basic, I have to turn on the blinker, and another car is passing us because we're going so slow. Wait till this truck goes by. In basic, I have to use the blinker, which I'll do, and then watch C and change lanes. Now, once I get in a lane here with the basic, I'm in cruise control, but I'm not in autopilot where I follow distance in front or keep the lane. I am manually driving as long as that blue circle is there. So I'm going to now change lanes manually again. This is basic autopilot. So now I'm behind the trailer. He's doing over 75, and I'm not going to go any faster. But to activate the autopilot, I push down twice on the gear shift knob. And you see it put me right back in the center of the lane. The big blue ball is on, which indicates autopilot. You see now that trailer's doing 73. We're set for 75. The speed limit is 70. Again, basic autopilot keeps us right here in the lane and keeps track of the guy in front. And this is where it differs from the other lane following schemes from other manufacturers. Most of them just look at the car in front of us at the time. Autopilot, however, monitors traffic in the left lane, the right lane, and all around, in addition to our lane following and our keeping distance here from the vehicle in front. That's where the two differ. This is not your general everyday lane keeping software. It is aware of all the other vehicles, even though it won't do more functionality, the safety part is there. So there we go, we're now uh, at the basic level. So to recap, basic autopilot centers up in the lane and follows, keeps its distance. When I change lanes, I must manually change lanes and then reactivate the lane following or the autopilot blue ball. As you can see, the trailer's really slowing down now. I don't know what he's doing. Maybe he doesn't like me following him. No, nope, there's somebody going really slow in front again. I think they're trying to get off. But you can see the action in basic autopilot. It slows down because the cars in front are slow. And it stays in the lane as long as I want it that way. And of course, this blue and this message indicate I need to rotate the wheel slightly and that tells the autopilot that I have not fallen asleep or passed out. 
So that's the extent. So let's recap one more time. Basic autopilot does our lane following here. It does our lane centering. And it keeps track of other vehicles for obstacles for safety reasons. To change lanes with basic autopilot, you must manually change lanes by putting your blinker on and going around it. When you do, the autopilot shuts off. The cruise control stays on with the blue ball. We're going 75 here now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get behind Mr. Red Car up here. And uh, no, I won't either. We'll get behind the truck. And I'll stay in this lane for whatever speed I've set, which is 75, and we're going 75. In basic autopilot, you have to manually change the lane, the autopilot shuts off, and then I must double click it, which puts me back in autopilot, and I will have lane centering, I will have following distance, and I will have monitoring of all the vehicles around me for safety in other lanes, not just this lane. That's the definition of basic autopilot. As we get closer and closer to the rear end of this truck, what happens? We match the truck speed at the following distance I set here of two. I can set it to four, and you'll notice it, it'll slowly drop back to a setting of four. Again, basic autopilot. All right, well, let's talk now a little bit about enhanced and full self-driving software. Let me get back to the two. In enhanced software, it gives you a couple added features. One of them is auto lane change. So all you have to do, since I have full self-driving here in my car now, it has the same features as Enhanced Autopilot. So what I'm going to do here is uh, I am going to demonstrate Auto Lane Change. That is available in Enhanced and Full Self Driving. And how I do it, looks like we got some people coming in up front here. So let's uh, give them a second. Stabilize. All right, so what we're going to do now, it's, we've decided as the driver, we're going to change lanes and go around. How do I do it? I reach over here and just turn the blinker on. You notice on the screen, the car checks the left lane and automatically changes lanes. And as you can see, we're going our set speed past the truck. Somehow I bumped it up. I'm going to put it back to 75. Okay, we're on autopilot. We're in the left lane. And this is enhanced autopilot again. Now we've passed the truck. I'm going to change lanes back to the blinker. It checks to make sure the lane is clear and it automatically changes lanes by itself in the right lane. This is part of the enhanced and the full self driving, not the basic. So that is a really cool feature. I've set up what's called navigate on autopilot how this works it's supposed to catch up to a slower moving vehicle and good I think we've got one just coming on the interstate here now I'll let this guy get on and I'll demonstrate it so I'm gonna turn on navigate on autopilot and watch what happens already it wants me to confirm that to pass this guy that's going slower. To do it, I use the blinker. The car makes sure it's clear. It then will speed up to the required speed. I just bumped it up to 75. And then once I get past him and I get a decent distance, the navigator on autopilot should tell me that I need to move back into the right lane. Well, it's going to keep me here because of probably this slower car up here. There, now it wants me to move in the right lane. 
I confirm with the blinker, the car then will change over and go back into the lane. That was the difference between basic autopilot that comes with every Tesla and enhanced autopilot, which is an added cost, and full self-driving, which is also an added cost. For most people, the basic autopilot is good enough. They are happy with the lane keeping and the following and all the safety features where it monitors traffic in all the lanes and the basic autopilot comes with every Tesla. If you wish, you can buy what's called enhanced autopilot. Enhanced autopilot adds additional features and it depends upon what country you're in is what exact features you get to add. In North America, I'm really sure that it does auto lane change and it may do navigate on autopilot. Full self-driving software, however, which will be released here probably in the month of April to folks that have purchased full self-driving, get all of the basic features plus the enhanced features plus the actual full self-driving beta software, which will be out, I think, this month. It allows you to get a beta copy of full self-driving where essentially you're still in control, but you can tell the car, I want to go to a specific address, and the car will drive you there. Stop for lights, turns, U-turns, the whole thing. While you, being in control, watch the car do that. This is beta software, which means that it's been tested by a bunch of people, but it still runs the risk of possibly messing up, and therefore you as the driver are responsible anytime you use any car driver assistance feature. Even basic autopilot, you're still responsible. You cannot go to sleep in the back and let it drive down the road for 200 miles. However, if you do and you get into a wreck, you're still responsible, just as if you were driving the car yourself. And what's that for? The car is warning me that the uh, road is a uh, bad condition right there, and you see that it thinks that I'm driving awful close to the side of the road. Of course I was. The road is not very wide here, and I probably a foot or so from the line and it didn't like how close I got. Again, another Tesla safety feature that comes with the car, and that should come with basic autopilot. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you learned something. If you would, click the like, click the subscribe, and don't forget to click the bell icon to not miss anything going forward. If you'd like to buy yourself a Tesla, the referral link shown here at the bottom of the screen will give you 1,000 free miles of supercharging or 1,500 free kilometers of supercharging when you use the link below to order your car. Thank you very much for watching. I'll look for you again and take care.